Hello YouTube, this is MB. Today we will talk about Python um, magic methods, uh, name, especially name, that is dunder name and dunder main, uh, how they are used together, uh, why in some of the functions or some of the files you will see dunder name equals dunder main, then do this, if else do something else. So let's get started. All right, so the what I will do here is I will first go ahead and create a new file, file1.py, and let me increase the font here. Let me go ahead and create a small function, a comma b, return a plus b. Then I will create another function here. Sorry, another file, file one underscore importer dot py. It imports the first file. I will also add another line here. It just prints out the name, that is the file name. So in the file one underscore importer, what I will do here is from file one import add. So by looking at this file, when I run this, it prints out main. That means the, per, the particular function, or whoever is running this, is the main function. So if there is no main function defined, so then this, whatever that is there, that will be called main. And also when you, the name is equal to main, that means, the file is being run directly. The underscore dun, uh, that is dunder name is the name of the function or name of the person who is running the file. Uh, think of it that way. So when I say uh, dunder name is equals when dunder name is equal to dunder main, do this. It only means that when the file is being run directly, do this. So let's see the file one underscore importer. When I run this, what happens? So when I run from file one import add, or uh, this just this particular line, I'm just importing. I'm not writing any code there. And when I execute that file, the output is file one. When I run this file directly, it says main one, right? So what's going on here? Let's dig a little deeper. Create another file, file2.py. I will close this, close this, and file2.py we will write something else. If dunder name is dunder main, print running directly also print name else print something else is importing okay let me I want to I want this to be visible here. Something else is importing me and running me. Let's run this. Running directly. Well, makes sense because we are running this file directly. It is saying running directly. That is what the condition that we have put in here. Let's create another file, file2 underscore importer dot pi. And I will have a split screen here. And let's type, just type import file2, right? And enter print underscore underscore name. Control B, 
that is running it it says something else is importing me and running me that is true because here as you can see file2 underscore importer is importing file2 and it's running file2 that is why it is putting this output as per the logic that we have defined there so now we know what is dunder name and dunder main i think we have an idea if we're still not clear let's look at another example file 3 dot pi what shall we define here we will say another function define adder a comma b return a plus b print i will always run if dunder name equals dunder main then print I will run only when run correctly makes sense now let's create another file 3 underscore importer dot py I will have a split screen for you here what I will do here is from file 3 import adder print adder 2 comma 3 so when I run file 3 underscore importer it's saying I will always run because this will always run it is outside this particular logic I think you can see all the letters but if I run file 3 correctly it says I will always run and I will run only when run directly because here when I'm running the file 3 directly dunder name is equals to dunder main I am running the main file I'm not running this file from some other file when I run file 3 uh, underscore importer file 3 underscore importer is the main file right so that is why this particular logic is not true so this particular print will not work now let's look at another example file 4 dot py here we will have another example let's say salary is equal to 10,000 define main uh, I'm defining a main function and hike is equal to salary into 10% that is 1.10 return I will say your new salary is hike right now I will define another function hike here hike equals sal are 1.30 return your new salary is hike if under name is under main that is if the file is being run directly then you run the main function and print the result of the main function else a equals external hike print a so if the file is being run directly main function will run 
to give you an idea, if an internal apl employee applies for a job that is called internal job posting, he wants to get a promotion, then we are going to give him 10% hike. But if we are hiring someone from outside the company, that is external hire, then the hike is going to be 30%. That is, we are defining an HR policy. Let's say that is HR policy, 30%. So it will say your new salary is whatever your salary was, and 30%. Got it. So let's go ahead and create an import a file. file. What am I doing? Now this, I will say new file, file for underscore importer dot imposter. I will have a split screen for you guys here. And here let's do import file five equals file five dot main print a. Makes sense. So here I'm importing file four. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. File four. And okay, first let's remove this. And I will just uh, import the file four and run. Control B. It says your new salary is 13,000. That is because I am running this file from some other file. I'm importing file four and running the file four from file four underscore importer. If I run the file four directly, it says your new salary is 11,000. Makes sense, right? However, let's say there's an exemption, uh, exception, <laughs> exception, and we want to run that main function anyway, then I will say A equals file four dot, I mean, I don't have to define a variable, I can just run this, but just for the sake of simplicity, uh, when you see it, you wanna understand it. And the motto of this uh, topic is to make you understand. If I see your new salary is 11,000. For some reason, we wanna give uh, only this percent of hike, that is 10% of hike, to a person who is getting hired from outside the company, then we will do this. But if I remove this and run this, 13,000, Control Z, run this, run this, right? Let's see what I'm saying. Now it's saying 13,000 and 11,000 as well, because this part will make sure it runs this particular function anyway. Whereas this part will make sure it also runs this one. So in this scenario, what it's actually trying to do here is, I mean, we can actually alter this. Um, what we can do here is, instead of this, I can say plus, 3000, right? And then I can say plus 1000, right? So let's say what happens. New salary is 13,000. It just to make you understand, so whenever you are using a particular function, uh, you are writing a module especially, you, wanna, uh, you want some code to be excluded well, if the file is being imported and run from some another file. And you, let's say there is another scenario where you want some code to be run only when the file is being run directly. That is, uh, so in those scenarios, you use dunder name and dunder main, and are in combination with you know, both of them. So that is all we had for this lecture, our tutorial. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great one. Bye.